I just had to document this moment for a second just so I can remember it for the rest of my life but I was just on the phone to mum and I'm going to London today because it's Ed's dad's birthday uh, party tomorrow and um, me and mum were just chatting she was like so what time are you going to London and I was like oh 3, 3.20 she was like oh that's quite late to get into London just try and get there at 5 you know and I was like yeah that is that is quite quick isn't it I looked at my ticket and it said 2pm and I am um, stood here in my pants <laughs> so <laughs> I've missed my train so I'm gonna have to now get on the next one I won't be able to get on because it's more expensive but if I get on a train that's the same or similar price then they'll be okay with that so well hopefully so I'm gonna jump on that train instead so I've got an hour I've got an hour to burn I might just grab some lunch and then I'll put some trousers on and go to London <laughs> see that lol <laughs> So I'm just in Ed's spare room. Um, I'm in London and it is currently like 31 degrees and it feels like an absolute sauna in this house. It is so hot. <laughs> like I actually look like a glazed donut and I'm not moving. Like the sweat is seeping out of my skin. It's just kind of gross. But I'm just waiting for Ed to get ready because we're going to head into Sloan Square because there's a really, really cute restaurant that's got like a terrace area and I feel like I'm cheating on Inga doing this because me and Inga said that we would do this together. But me and Ed said we'd do a date night there too. So I'm going to do a date night with Ed there tonight and then I'll do a date night with Inga there another time and I'll just pretend if she doesn't watch this video that I've never been there before. <laughs> oh, I just can't wait until the sun goes in a little bit. I love like a cool like a warm evening but it's got like a cool breeze that would be ideal also there's a plane just flying over and i am so jealous of everybody going on holiday but they could sit by a pool although to be fair i should really use my soho uh, membership a little bit more and actually use the pools that are on the rooftops i've never actually swam um or like chilled by the pool i don't want to do it on my own though i get really scared doing it on my own i need someone to hold my hand Oh yeah, also I'll show you my outfit. I need to actually cut. I mean ignore this room, this is the spare room in Ed's house. Um, but I'm wearing this dress from Zara. It's kind of like a stiff fabric, which I'm not really digging, but I kind of uh, I slightly understand. I don't know, it's a bit weird. But it's the only option I had because the other dress is really long you need an underslip and i know i'll just be too hot can you see where now no that's the door it's focusing on the door not me hello Cat food has melted. Ugh, it's a little bit there. Yes, I am coming. I'm gonna have to spoil the surprise. Because I need to chat in here and you guys are gonna you guys guys are gonna see it. So basically my wardrobes are nearly done in my wardrobe room. Um there's a couple of doors missing. Well, all the doors pretty much are missing and some work tops need to go on. But apart from that, my wardrobe room is nearly complete. So I'll flip you around and I'll show you and then I'll also tell you the story. Oh, it's been a bit of a nightmare of a week, but I'm just gonna show you slightly because I'm actually gonna do like a grand reveal on another video. But this is currently what we're working with. Eek! Okay, so I've just swapped the camera to the Sony one just because the other one just like overexposes and it doesn't it doesn't focus on anything ever. Oh, I wish I had a oh, I've got a little stool. Maybe this will work. Okay, I'm sat on a oh that's better. So I need to fill you in on something that happened last week. On Monday I went to London, I stayed the night 
and then on the Tuesday I had a rare beauty event which I was vlogging um, or oh, trying to vlog, I was trying to be a good vlogger and take you guys with me. Uh, I went to the rare beauty event, I met Selena Gomez which is so exciting, like yeah, childhood dream come true, I instantly got like uh, calm, kind vibes from. She was very sweet, seemed very genuine and like authentic which was really really nice. Um, she unfortunately had food poisoning so her time at the event was cut short and we weren't allowed to uh, video her or do anything with her with a video so um, some people got well we were basically able to make like TikToks but she basically uh, ended doing videos because she didn't feel very well. Obviously I said to her <laughs> I'm sure this is the last place you want to be because, to be honest, if I got food poisoning, there's probably no way I'd be turning up to an event. Um, I mean, everybody knows how awful you feel when you're, like, sick like that. Um, so, yeah, I thought that fair play to her. She showed up, um, but she had to leave early because, obviously, naturally, she didn't feel very well. Um, so yeah, I had a really nice time, the Rare Beauty event. Didn't really get as much content as I would hoped for. I will insert some of the footage that I've got here so you guys can see. <laughs> um, but that is not the reason that I didn't carry on filming. There is another reason coming, which I will tell you guys about in a second. The word influencer is so powerful and I want you guys to know how much I respect what you do and how much I, I cherish what you do and you taught me things. And I want you to understand that you have that. because otherwise I'd be getting home at midnight and it's just getting really late. So I decided to get a taxi and go to Paddington Station and uh, I had loads of bags with me. I had my rucksack, my laptop bag, my suitcase, a rare beauty bag and then also like a spare bag um, that I had like extra clothing and stuff in. Got out of the taxi, I had my rucksack on my right shoulder, I had my laptop bag on my left shoulder and I had my suitcase and the rare beauty bag and the other bits like on top of my wheelie really small suitcase that I was like trying to wheel around. Um, I It was really late and I hadn't had any dinner so I had two minutes to get on this train so I thought I'm gonna nip in quickly to m &S, grab some food and then off I go. So I literally just like didn't even rummage, I just grabbed food as and when I saw it and just thought, right, that'll do. I forgot a fork, so I didn't actually even eat my dinner that night. I grabbed the food, paid for it on my Apple Pay, and I put the rucksack handle back on my left shoulder and put my laptop bag and like you know the loopy thing you can attach to your luggage handle i did that with my laptop bag and then i just scrambled and ran to the train now my ticket wasn't working or didn't work for a while so i was kind of stood at the ticket thing for quite a bit my train was literally about to leave so i got through and jumped on the last carriage even though my seat was like all the way at the front so i had to wheel all this luggage um, all the way to the front of the train and I went through about seven carriages to get there. Then as I got down and sat down, I took my bag off and I realised my bag was fully opened. Um, bearing in mind, I'm very conscious and in the taxi, I made sure both of my zips were like fully down on one side, just because I know with rucksacks they can open a bit. So I put it down on one side. Someone had actually opened my whole bag and I realised my purse was missing. My whole purse was just abducted, yeeted, taken, just gone. Like, it's just, it was just, it was just gone. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm laughing because it's really not funny. Um, but I had to ring up Santander. I like literally just burst out crying straight away because I was just like, really? Like, really? Like, now? Uh, so I had to cancel like seven cards because I had my business cards, my personal cards, credit cards, debit cards, master cards, whatever, I had to cancel them all. They took £100 worth of cash. I don't normally carry cash, but sometimes in London I think like it's really good to have some cash on you, like you just never know if your phone's going to die and you need a taxi or 
Do you know what I mean? Like, you just don't know. Never do that again. I'll probably put cash somewhere else in my bag. Um, I had loads of gift vouchers. I had the gift voucher that my older sister gave me at her wedding, which is for Harrods, which I had quite a lot of money on. I had uh, ASOS vouchers. I had HomeSense vouchers, TK Maxx vouchers, like you name it. All my gift cards were in there. Um, I had jewellery that I had taken off and put in the zip compartment of like where you put pennies. Like I had some personal bits in there. It was a mulberry purse to begin with. That's now going to be on the dark web. Um, yeah, just like everything like gone. Uh, luckily, I was able to freeze the cards before they managed to do anything. To be honest, I think they would have just taken the cash and been happy with that. And the mulberry purse obviously is worth a few bob. So yeah, that's what happened and it completely threw me off. Like, I just thought, I just felt really violated. I felt watched, I felt targeted. Uh, and yeah, I'm definitely not going to be doing that again by putting my whole purse into my backpack. Um, I do find backpacks really handy in London just because if I have a one shoulder bag, my my back, well the reason I got a backpack was because my back was so like, uh, like I, I was walking around London like this all the time with one bag, uh, one shoulder bag on. So I think I will get another backpack but I won't be taking my whole purse with me. I'll probably end up just taking what I need with me and not everything like that. Uh, so yeah, you know it is what it is at the time I was Oh, well, I still am really annoyed about it and I am quite upset about it. However, it taught me a few lessons and um, I'm just waiting on my new cards to arrive and then I'll, I need to figure out what purse I'm going to get myself next. Um, and yeah. So yeah, I got robbed in Paddington Station in London and when I rang them up, uh, they didn't really, they weren't really that helpful to be honest. I mean, there's nothing they can really do, but I just asked if like, They've been put in lost property. Sometimes they take the cash and then just leave the purse. Anywho, nothing, nada. I'm gonna go back to London next week, so I'll ask when I'm there. Uh, but yeah, so I had to wave goodbye to my purse, annoyingly. And I had all my like, like lucky pennies that I had picked up over the years. I always keep my like pennies that I see on the ground. Um, so yeah, I had my lucky bellies in. <laughs> so that's that, and that's why I, you didn't get a vlog last week, and I apologise, but it just completely threw me off, and I just wanted to curl up in a ball and just pretend that the world is actually a really nice place. So... Good morning everybody. <laughs> that was the second time I did that intro. Um, sorry if you can hear the kettle. That kettle was actually supposed to be a noise counselling, no noise kettle and they did me dirty because it only lasted for about two goes and then after that it's the loudest kettle I think I've ever owned in my life. My granddad, I call him Popsy, my Popsy is here fitting uh, the CCTV camera down the side of my house. I'm not sure if I filled you in, but we've had a little bit of trouble with the neighbours' kids. Not that I mind kids at all, and I don't mind them playing, like, out the front. However, uh, they went after Bella the other day. Uh, they cornered her, bless her. She's obviously um, a cat that's been abused by children in the past. So she was absolutely terrified. Um, and then also they've kicked the footballs against, like, the row of houses from me all the way down. And they've smashed a few things and broken a few things. Obviously, they're at the age where it's like criminal damage. Obviously, no one's going to press charges. But um, I would like to just keep an eye on them. And I was always going to have a little bit of CCTV, whether that was through like a, a ring doorbell or something. But I actually ended up buying the Blink cameras from Amazon. And so far, so good. I've had one out the front of mine for the last couple of weeks. And I've put in one around the side. And I'll also put one in the back garden. Just for extra protection and security. And kind of like peace of mind, especially when I'm not in. Anyway, so today, uh, I'm actually heading up out i'm heading off out with my mum we are going kitchen shopping <laughs> so i think i showed you the drawings that i had done at howden's now i love howden's and i really like the guy that i'm dealing with at howden's like he's so nice and it makes me want to use them just because he's so nice which is obviously a sale tactic and it's working um 
but yes yeah, so i need to be an adult and i need to go and get some quotes from, from some other places and see what deals they can do for me so that's what we're doing today we're going to go to ren kitchens we're going to go uh home base better kitchens and somewhere else just to get some quotes uh, i'm also going to get a quote from the kitchen company that supplied uh, my wardrobes because they've done an amazing job with them so i'm really really happy and oh that's my toast i'm really really happy with them so far and i think uh they're really reliable they were actually really reasonably priced i mean so much so much so that it was a quarter of the price of what other people quoted me and it's still great material greatly fitted yeah they've done an amazing job and i can't wait to show you when that's done that should be done actually within the next couple of weeks but on the next video um so not this vlog but the next video i'm actually going to start to organize my wardrobe with you guys so i'm gonna um start to organize it and i bought some bits from amazon to kind of uh keep everything organized and sectioned in the wardrobes i want to be clever with the way that i lay things out in my wardrobe just so it's really easy to find because i can't deal with drawers i don't know if anyone else is the same but i just forget what i have when they're in drawers like you if you're not the t-shirt that's on the first two like sections anything else under that gets forgotten about and i just never wear you so i kind of want to hang up as much as possible like, I'm even talking, like, crop tops and stuff. Like, I want to see if I can hang up those kind of things. Honestly, if this doesn't sum me up, I don't know. Ow, one times. <laughs> I burnt my toes. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Oh, that's actually really, that's fine. It looked really bad at the top, but that's, I mean, it's a little bit crispy and cremated, but he's fine. It will do. Um, Before I butter my toast let me show you the designs so this is the kitchen design that i'm after it's literally everything that i want more um i will actually hold it up it will be like this here so you see like here with all the little drawers that will start to go in here in the little bit of the kitchen so we're going to use some of the kitchen that's already here and then bring it all the way down. I think that will look amazing there. I literally just can't wait. I think it'll look great. Um, and then obviously where the sofa is will be a dining area. And then these walls will be knocked down and it'll be into the lounge. I really want a traditional styled kitchen. I want the island with like the rounded off units, which are probably the most expensive part of this kitchen, as well as like worktops. But I'm gonna see if I can get some cutoffs for the worktops. Um, we did have a talk about the sink in the middle and the dishwasher, but I think I'm just gonna do it. I think I'm gonna spend the money, the extra money, and keep it in the middle of the room just because I really, really like this idea of being like an area where I keep you know like the toaster and have some shelving units and a downward light with some art and just like make it look i just think it kind of makes the kitchens look slightly more unique um and different which is what i want mum being cool in her trainers <laughs> so nice i like the mugs as well look at that that's insta yeah i, I like, like this shape do you like this though yeah, that is nice. Underneath the hob, I think that's yeah. so handy. With the thinner and then the two thicker ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With all your plates yeah. and stuff. And the saucepans. Spot the kitty. <laughs> I thought it was real. I was literally about to jump and be like, oh my god, look. They've got a cat. Bella. Uh, Bella number two. <laughs> So I think I'm going to leave this vlog here. I'm Again, I apologise for this mismatched vlog. It doesn't really make much sense and it doesn't really flow. But I hope you guys did enjoy whatever I put in. And uh, hopefully next week I'll feel better and on my game. But um, anyway, the next vlog you will see will be me organising the wardrobe. A couple of my parcels from Amazon have arrived with everything to organise the wardrobe. So I'm really excited. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to filming that video. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye for now.